Bitcoin bouncing back following a pretty steep drop last week of more than 40 percent. I've seen bull markets and bears over the years. Bitcoin some saw both a bull and a bear in the same day. The digital currency fell well, 2 percent. Well, certainly if you've been in it, it has been a good investment. Bitcoin prices were at $1,000 at the start of this year. Now they're nearing 12. Thursday's action was out of this world. I mean, the thing was on a one-way run. The started trading futures last night. On the CBOE, it has Plus, been a news, uh, reporter Amanda Brandeis explains what Bitcoin is and asks the question, should you buy it? My name is Sergey. In this film, we will show you things that will fully change your mind and opinion on cryptocurrency world and more likely it will change your life. Shall we begin? Even yesterday, we didn't know about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and blockchain. But today, the world is changing and it changes so fast that not every one of us have time to understand and accept these changes. More and more often we hear from news, internet, from acquaintance and other people that Bitcoin has grown several times. Cryptocurrency continue to grow, but most people still don't realize that financial system and the whole world itself are changing right now. And those ones who think they know everything might be sadly mistaken. Important thing is always to have correct information and understanding of things that are happening. Because tomorrow in the new world, you might not find a place for yourself. This film will open eyes not only to those who still don't know about Bitcoin, altcoin and blockchain, but as well to those who are already familiar to the world of cryptocurrency. Everything is not as simple as it looks. Bitcoin can free the world from unjust financial system and banks, but also can destroy it like no world war ever could. It was 2008. An anonymous group of people or one person who was hiding behind pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto published a document under name White Paper, which described the technology and working principle of Bitcoin. In the same year domain Bitcoin.org was registered and first articles were published. In 2009, followers and Bitcoin evangelists had already appeared people who believe in basic idea and technology of Bitcoin on blockchain. Bitcoin at that time was absolutely safe and anonymous value of the future. That could be used without intermediaries like banks and also not be controlled by supervisory authority and other individuals. But main feature of Bitcoin, it doesn't belong to anyone. People thought this way and still think now. But in this film you will learn things that most people have no idea about. Into what Bitcoin can turn our ordinary world might not be so bright and wonderful. Bitcoin is capable of turning the world upside down like no world war ever could. In 2009, Bitcoin's exchange rate was somewhere between 700 and 1600 Bitcoins per $1. By the end of 2017, only one Bitcoin's cost was $20,000. Exchange rate increased by 32,000 times. It's a fantastic growth, and it keeps on growing. Every new psychological mark gets reached faster and faster, and soon we will see as one Bitcoin's cost will be $50,000, 100,000, 200,000, and maybe even $1 million for one Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies keep on growing? Answer is simple. In the root of most cryptocurrencies is blockchain. It's a chain of blocks. Each block keeps information about addresses, transactions, and the structure itself is fully decentralized. Decentralization is the key word. Decentralization is when servers that secure one network of the certain cryptocurrency don't belong to one circle of persons. There are hundreds of thousands of computers, and each one contains full base of Bitcoin's blockchain, full transactions, history, account balances, and other things. All transactions in such network can be traced to the very first one, and that's how we get openness of all users' data. 
to change or hack any data in Bitcoin's network, you must hack and change information on hundred thousands of servers, which one's owners are regular users or miners. Mining is the method for extracting bitcoins when you provide computational power of your computer to ensure the efficiency of network. For that you get a reward in a way of bitcoins. But it's not as simple as it looks like. The more servers appear in the network, the less reward becomes. There is already an entire industry around Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. You used to be able to mine Bitcoin on any computer, when whole network was small and Bitcoin initially came out. But now for that purpose there are some special computers, miners, that can do nothing but mining. Their huge computing power don't compare to usual computer. That's why mining opportunity on your personal computer has fully lost all meaning. Some cryptocurrencies are mined with video cards, which also made a leap in the development of this industry and even shortage of equipment. Date a private mining without big investments in equipment is no longer profitable. Individual miners are replaced by mining pools, whole buildings with servers, which generate enormous computing power. And investments in such projects are equal to millions of dollars. And we can see how private independent mining and basis of honesty and reliability of Bitcoin network passes in the hands of huge mining pools. And about its danger I will tell you a bit later. The majority of people make money on usual right choice of buying one or another cryptocurrency, which growth might be equal to 500, 1000 percent or even bigger for only one month. But it's not that cool. Some cryptocurrencies may fall, but in very rare cases now. And even plunged in value cryptocurrencies eventually will grow and re-establish its price level. A common world's interest in investments to cryptocurrencies helps in growth of everything that is connected to cryptocurrencies and blockchain. In past years, Bitcoin has been developing exclusively by a small group of people who believed in its perspectives and technologies. From 2015, Bitcoin began to come out into wider communities. And from 2017, there was a quantum leap of popularity and growth, not only of Bitcoin, but also of other cryptocurrencies called altcoins. Cryptocurrency had grown, there were more and more developers and specialists in blockchain technology, cryptography and decentralization. Bitcoin had its disadvantages. Technology of Bitcoin even in 2014 already was obsolete technologies, which growth of popularity affected at inadequate off-day capacity of network. In December 2017, if you send Bitcoin to another address, Transaction confirmation can be delayed for 24 hours or even more. New cryptocurrencies began to appear, like for example Ethereum, which was supported by crypto community in the way of fundraising for development and promotion through ICO. Also a new concept appeared not long ago. First buyers of Ethereum tokens also raised their investments by a dozen times with the increase of cost and capitalization of Ethereum. Blockchain and cryptocurrencies As I mentioned earlier, because of Bitcoin blockchain technology began its penetration in our regular life. It's important to understand that creation of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and others is by far not only application of blockchain. In 2015 Ethereum network was launched and it brought more modern blockchain technologies and new concept called smart contracts. Ethereum was already more technologically advanced blockchain, in which not only transactions of token ETH are carried out, but also launching and processing of smart contracts and creation of custom tokens for any side projects. Smart contracts is also a new direction that came out with blockchain development. Imagine yourself a smart digital contract which includes all terms of a transaction and no one can change them. For example, you created a smart contract for a house sale. 
programmed needed terms used in which contract will create required event. In our case, it's house selling. Buyer as to smart contracts and rest needed amount in equivalent of cryptocurrency. Then every 24 hours smart contract will check for updates in public registry of real estate. And right after they will appear data that your house is registered to hire, smart contract will transfer money to your account. But if such data won't appear in registered during one month, smart contract will return cryptocurrency to buyer. A simple example to show that there is a big future in blockchain. This technology will help to practically get rid of fraud and deception by both average citizens and authorities. Migration of public service, private companies and others on blockchain gives not only openness but also a protection and guarantee. Because info in blockchain practically can't be changed without a trace. For example, someone decided to appropriate your property, let's say a land plot. To do it using bribes and corruption schemes in real property register and lands of your government, that someone replaced you with a new owner, and your data was deleted at all. Like this land had never ever belonged to you. In this case, you practically have no chance to prove otherwise. While you will start judicial proceedings and so on, your land will already be resolved many times and eventually it will all be for nothing. But if this real property register and lands will be on blockchain, where data can't be deleted or changed without a trace, then this way of property appropriation will just be excluded. If any new data about new owner of this land will appear in blockchain, all previous data will stay. Tens or even hundreds of such examples can be quoted. Blockchain is needed in most of everyday processes, from taxi service and to public companies and banks. Since blockchain's inception, it begins to enter a new stage only now, and more companies start thinking of the implementation of blockchain into their processes. Blockchain and cryptocurrencies to date are similar to the internet back in 1993. The most interesting is yet to come. An important thing now is to start figuring it all out and if it's possible to take part in it. But each metal has two sides. And now we will look in detail at theories of two largest cryptocurrencies on capitalization. Bitcoin $290 billion and Ripple with capitalization at $120 billion according to January 6, 2018. Total capitalization of all cryptocurrencies for today are equal to $800 billion and only a month ago it was on level $450 billion. And that's only a drop in the ocean. According to analysts, total capitalization by 2022 will increase by 20 or 30 trillion dollars including all new blockchain companies. It's a huge and fast-growing market. If internet needed 25 years to reach current level, blockchain industry and cryptocurrencies need only 5-8 years for that. Blockchain can't stop or halt its development. World community won't let it happen. And we, regular people, should do everything to defend this technology. In the right hands, it will bring total benefit benefit that will make the world a fairer place. And all interactions between people, governments, companies, both exterior and interior, much more transparent, and any registered data or transaction will be reversible. But first, we must learn to differentiate cryptocurrencies and blockchain companies. Remember the most important thing. Blockchain is full decentralization. No one can and no one must have the opportunity to make changes in data or transactions. Decentralization is achieved through the allocation of servers that keep and process information, and the farther these servers from each other, and the less its owners are correlated to each other with personal or other relations, the better for decentralization. But sadly, when the implementation of technology goes so fast, and first branch like cryptocurrencies takes a lead. Many new companies use it, and with total ignorance of all subtleties of technology, they mislead people without revealing all danger and risks. Now you know more about blockchain and cryptocurrencies, and it will give you more understanding for the next part of the film. Now we will tell you why Bitcoin and Ripple are dangerous. Bitcoin Killer of Mankind 
we give that name for this film for a reason. Bitcoin is amazing, technology on which it was created, even more wonderful. And all that is happening now, we entirely due to Bitcoin. But we must understand that Bitcoin is yet not just a technology. Bitcoin accumulates huge amount of money to itself. It practically became a digital gold as many people now call it. In past, people were buying gold. And gold itself provided one or another currency of different countries. But not anymore. Now there are no countries that still reinforce its currency with international services, which made the emission of main world's currency, American dollar, infinite. Printing prices of Federal Reserve continue to print new dollars without stopping, because it's enough to give American banks another digital credit. There will be new amounts on banks' account, which it will put on credit of some companies or people. That's how runaway inflations happen. You can't start saving dollars because they depreciate. You must take credit and buy something, because you won't be able to save up money. And that's the principle of world's painting press. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies begin to fight it. In Bitcoin, they can be mined in total 21 million coins by the year 2140. And now they're already mined 16 million coins. And if to date one Bitcoin costs $70,000, it doesn't mean that you can buy Bitcoins equal to one. This moment was thought out initially. One Bitcoin is split into multiple units, called Satoshi. The smallest amount of one Bitcoin is one millionth of Satoshi. That means you can buy a part of Bitcoin even for $100. Complexity of extraction increases. Mining pools are growing, which is very bad for ecology and useless waste of electricity. Bitcoin doesn't need such huge computational power for transaction processing. The vast majority of power is sent on the solving of mathematical problems, for which miners get their rewards. Complexity of the problems grows as number of miners. That partly increases Bitcoin's price. Eventually, we have a currency which is controlled by no one which is growing in price. At the time of January 6, 2018, it cost $70,000 per one coin. And according to analytics, by 2022, the price of one Bitcoin will be not less than $100,000 $200,000. And it all started when Bitcoin's cost was less than one cent. Right after Bitcoin passes psychologically important mark, its price increases instantly. Like it was when it passed $1,000, $10,000, etc. No one can stop transactions in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. No one can affect the data integrity on your account, block it or do anything else. This is how it is widely assumed, that everything is fine. But there are some big concerns, and we will logically run through main moments. First danger As we can recall, Bitcoin's creator, one man or group of people under name Satoshi Nakamoto, had launched Bitcoin Network for the first time. For testing and check, they were mined about 7% of all Bitcoins to date. It's just an enormous amount, even to date it is more than $20 billion. According to analytics in just two years, it will be $200,000 million. And by 2050, these 7% will be approximately about $5, 10 $3 trillion. If at that moment money won't be calculated conversely, that dollar's price will be estimated in bitcoins, and that might happen, though it may sound funny today. In 2010, a guy who bought pizza for 10,000 bitcoins, he would laugh too if he would hear that in 2019 his pizza would be equal to $150 million. But anyway, that is what happened. Ask your familiar trader or economist, what will happen if you put 7% of all bitcoins on cryptocurrency exchange at one day? We will witness how fast will collapse not only the value of bitcoin, but all other cryptocurrencies as well. Value may fall by hundreds of times. It will cause a catastrophe in the world so huge that most financial organizations, retailers and others will have to stop all trade and other operations. Basically, all world economy will be stopped during one, two days. Markets, pharmacies, no one will be able to accept payment, because even yesterday, everyone bought their products for the price at 100 times bigger. Everyone will wait for clarification that will not come soon. It will be such a crisis way of looting and chaos, which world never seen before. People will have no choice but to smash markets and pharmacies to get needed products. This situation will be a good benefit for poor people. They will smash and rob not only markets and pharmacies, but everything standing on their way. 
Garfew and everything that we saw in movies about apocalyptic future might happen in real life. Just think of it. And what are the odds that this scenario will happen? Very big. Imagine that you have a room in your house filled from floor to ceiling with $100 bills. And if you open the door, you will be blown away by the flow of money. And you live in this house for 9 years already. And all these 9 years you walk straight past this room without taking even a dollar from it. Do you think regular person can handle it? Hardly anyone can. And that's how Satoshi Nakamoto would look like if it was one person. But we understand that it's impossible. Any of us would use such amount of money. But since 2009, there had been no transactions from Satoshi Nakamoto's account. Not even one Bitcoin was spent, except small part that was spent for system testing at the start. It's impossible for regular person. Then who would do that? Maybe some group of people, maybe one person, but whoever this is, they are not motivated for money and wealth. This person or group of people are united by some incredible goal, for which they are ready to give up billions of dollars and wait more than 10 years. It all reminds us an area of Hollywood movie, a thriller where a group of programmers create a new digital financial system and then wait for a moment and ruin the whole world's economy. Start a way of looting and chaos in which the whole world turns upside down and regenerates into something new. But into what? We can't even imagine. But goals of this group of people raise serious concerns. And we must understand it and try to prevent this scenario to happen. How to do it? It's simple. A steep raise of Bitcoin and its capitalization shouldn't be allowed until it's clear who exactly is this Satoshi Nakamoto. If it's a regular person, he should send the vast majority of his Bitcoins to wallet, from which making further transactions will be impossible. Basically, he must destroy biggest part of his Bitcoins. Then danger of such scenario will disappear. But it seems unlikely that Satoshi Nakamoto will show up and do it. There must be a reason why this man or group of people wait for something for 9 years and don't touch their bitcoins. Second danger. We all believed and dreamed that bitcoin will destroy existing financial system, in which 50% of all the wealth of the world is in hands of 1% of population. But now we see that 40% of all bitcoins belong to only a thousand people. Then what's the difference between new digital gold and current financial system? It seems there is no difference. It's the same inequitable distribution, even more unfair than current one. Third danger is related to mining. There is an algorithm in Bitcoin's blockchain network which allows to make changes in transactions, changes history, account balances and other things. How it is possible? It's possible if someone has a control over 51% of Bitcoin network servers. You would say it's impossible. It's one of the main advantages of blockchain and Bitcoin. But it's not like that. When Bitcoin was only created, it was vital to build new servers from volunteers who should be rewarded with something for power exploitation of their computers. That's how mining was created. It was initially laid in Bitcoin's algorithm and thought out until year 2140, where every certain period of time mining complexity will increase, and the more servers they are, the less are chances for receiving reward for solving problems. At the beginning, Bitcoin's network considered of enthusiasts, which were offering their computers practically free when Bitcoin's cost was less than one cent. Then with Bitcoin's growth, professional miners appeared. Then mining pools appeared, where large miners have combined. Then there were manufacturers of equipment for mining, which created systems with capability of solving problems of Bitcoin network much faster than any other powerful computer thereby an opportunity to support Bitcoin network and mine from usual computer almost entirely disappeared. Mining is very power-hungry process. To accommodate big mines, there must be very cheap and affordable equipment, as well as good climatic region. Equipment for mining produces immense amount of heat, which must be absorbed. In what country do you think are focused main powers of miners? It's China, and in the percentage it looks like this. As we can see, China is the absolute leader. 
and if all powers of Bitcoin are located in one country, which make the distance between owners very close, it causes big concerns. If 51% of these owners will unite, they will be able to make any changes in Bitcoin network. Mining pools already have brands and names. They know about each other's existence for a long time and probably even communicate with each other. Look at this illustration. As you can see, main computing powers of Bitcoin network belong to only four mining pools, which is 51%. If these four pools will unite or enter into collusion, they will be able to do with Bitcoin whatever they want. When the idea of Bitcoin network was initially created, more likely such scenario was not taken into account. By design, it should have been distributed across the whole world between independent small miners. But it all went different way. Mining is an enormous business which crossed the line of billions of dollars long ago. In current new cryptocurrencies, this mining system is not required. They already developed and exist more safe and cheaper blockchain projects, where miners' role is not so important and there is no need for such high electricity consumption. And Bitcoin's network already consume electricity equal to a city with a population of 1 million people. Another aspect is rapid aging of mining equipment. It is the endless race. Those miners you bought yesterday, tomorrow will be irrelevant with the emergence of new ones. We looked at main dangers which Bitcoin can cause, but what to do to avoid them? Everything is simple and difficult at the same time. Cryptocurrency community shouldn't raise Bitcoin's price higher than it is now. We think that $50,000, $70,000 is a reasonable limit for Bitcoin and save enough for cryptocurrency market. Because if someone will try to bring down Bitcoin, all else coins will fall with it. We should assess the situation and not to raise it to the heights that might be dangerous. There is more positive scenario as well, about which I will tell you later. Coins and ICO. You think that only Bitcoin can pose a danger. It's not like that. There are also altcoins, which shouldn't reach certain height in their capitalization. Ripple is the self-titled digital coin and company, which develops cross-border payments for global banks. And what confuses in this cryptocurrency? It's simple. Ripple is made by bankers for bankers. And the most surprising thing, that it's not even a blockchain. Ripple is centralized system, is the most interesting case. How this project could get in the crypto world at all? If the network is not decentralized, then all controls of all assets, functions and everything are fully in hands of owners and founders. Another more frightening factor is that from 60% of all released Ripple coins, only 40% are traded on crypto exchanges. And most part of it is kept by owners. Have you often heard about cryptocurrency bubble? Ripple is one of it. Something like usual fiat money, like dollars that can be printed without ending and without control. And all of it is managed by one group of people. Second frightening factor is that newcomers in the world of cryptocurrency still haven't yet learned to differentiate real cryptocurrencies from something like Ripple and overreacts when hearing any new information that push Ripple's capitalization high through the roof. At the time of creating of this film, Ripple is at second position on capitalization in the cryptocurrency rating, conceding only to Bitcoin. 120 billion against 240 billion dollars is a very worrying trend, and we hope that common sense will prevail, and such projects will never be that high because such bubble might be created on purpose, then in time when banks will need it to bring down whole cryptocurrency world. We all heard about huge profits in cryptocurrency investments, but newcomers see that investments in top cryptocurrencies that already reached maximum heights don't grow as much as investors desire, and blockchain technology needs development. There are a big number of useful projects that launch the development of blockchain technologies for implementation in real world. Whole cryptocurrency community is looking forward when blockchain will start to implement in our real life. And that trend is also provided by ICO. It's a new meaning that appeared not that long ago. One of the first largest ICO was Ethereum, about which we mentioned earlier. ICO stands for Initial Coin Offering. Groups of developers and companies need funds for creating and making their ideas a reality, usually related to development of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. It's the first stage when coins of a new prospective project can be purchased for lowest prices. Then project collects needed some with the help of private investors and investment funds. 
begins the development of the project, and coins released on ICO start to appear on cryptocurrency exchanges. Then, depending on the project, coins price grows. The most stunning growths after ICO were coins of the project Stratis, that increased by fantastic 151,000% in just one year. If you would invest $1,000 in Stratis coins during ICO, then in one year your investment at $1,000 will bring you staggering $1.5 million. But it's important to be vigilant here. Such examples of crazy successes are popular among fraudsters. Projects created with the purpose of fundraising or those ideas that are impossible to realize. Scams. It's good that cryptocurrency community consists of big part of professionals, and those projects are identified even before fundraising. Remember that not all coins grow after ICO. Usually growth happens to worthwhile projects. That's why figure out first in what you want to invest. If you are besotted with staggering stories of success in cryptocurrency investments, remember that on every case of success, there always might be a case of failure. In 2018, there are more and more projects that connect regular life and blockchain technologies. For example, ICO project Arm Pack that will be launched this year. Arm Pack offers to read our world from forgeries of any products using blockchain and also gives useful mobile app, using which you will be able to pay for your products using cryptocurrency, store different cryptocurrencies, check products for originality, get discounts and participate in promotions of your favorite brands. Arm Pack will develop logistic services based on blockchain for companies better marketing opportunities for communication with their customers, and also use of blockchain arm pack network by any other companies, which will accelerate the implementation of the technology to all business processes. Imagine that using mobile app called Arm Wallet, you will have an opportunity to check any product for originality, to see the information like expiration date, supply chain, manufacturer contacts, number of inspectation of this product, give a feedback and get in touch with manufacturer, which will reward you with cryptocurrency for purchase. And all process are merged and interrelated with one blockchain ecosystem that is controlled with smart contracts, which gives 100% protection from fraud and deception. Unfortunately, there are only few similar projects, but we see that market gets adjusted, and the use of blockchain is the future. How to save and develop further cryptocurrencies and blockchain No cryptocurrency should have big domination. List of top 50 cryptocurrencies must be consisted according to capitalization. There should be no individual cryptocurrencies, which capitalization accounts for 10, 20, 30 or more percent from total capitalization of all cryptocurrencies. If this continues, we will get the same dollar and absolute inequality, while only one of it will dominate whole world. It doesn't have to be this way and all members of crypto community must understand it. Market will be safe and in constant growth, while there is no strong and dangerous dominant. I hope our film helped you to understand that it's time to differentiate bullshit and cryptocurrencies from worthwhile projects. Don't let banks to penetrate in this world as well. Cryptocurrencies in blockchain's greatest enemy is our existing financial system that keeps on falling apart for years. And I hope that together we will be able to build a brand new, more honest and just world, where people won't be dependent on banks, governments and other mediators.